So Pat McIntosh over at prosportstalks.com uh, reached out to me to do a podcast interview. So I'm about to hop on a call with him and his son, Tag. Yeah, his son, Tag. Once the podcast is up and live, as always, you know there'll be links in the description so you can go listen to the entire thing. So I messed up. I was going to include like some clips of the actual uh interview in this like some I don't know some video clips of it but I accidentally just recorded it what do you call it in that time lapse thing so get the link to the whole thing below but yeah my bad me and Ross just finished our uh, weekly meeting so we meet every Monday what's up Quincy's people yeah shout out all the fans and followers and then stream is over here working as well too I'm wrapping up with this I'm heading to meet Santiago with Food Solo, and we're gonna have like a, a meeting about kind of partnering on a deal and getting something done. So I'm actually running a little bit late, so I'm gonna head over there right now, and then we can talk about that. Later, guys. Peace. Perfect soccer. Perfect soccer. Yeah. I like that. All right, so uh, yeah, we're gonna walk that way now. What's up, man? Santi and I ended up meeting last night. We ended up having like a five hour conversation with a random guy who works for Apple, which ended up turning into like a really deep, yeah, really deep conversation. So we didn't actually get to speak about everything that we wanted to. And then we met again later, we talked a little bit more, so that was good. But now we're coming out here today to shoot an interview for Foot Solo. Foot Solo. Follow us on Instagram, people. There Foot you go. Solo Experience. Foot Solo Experience. Follow us on YouTube, subscribe to our channel, and see this video that we're filming right now. Yes, exactly. So you'll, you'll get all the behind the scenes stuff. As you guys know, the vlog's behind the scenes stuff of what we're working on, and just spreading positivity. You know how we do this. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Anything you wanted to say? Let's get it done. Okay, we're getting it done. Cool. What piece of advice would you give to the next generation of soccer players that have aspirations of playing professionally? Your ability and commitment to dedicating necessary time to developing your abilities outside of mandatory practices and training. And our goal with Perfect Soccer is to serve quality information that can help you at any stage in your soccer development or career. Oh yeah, Greg, uh, our fitness coach, let me know earlier this week that uh, I needed to come in and do some like strength testing to get some baseline stuff for next year, so I'm at the stadium to kind of do that. Okay, gonna get dressed then see what these guys have planned for me for testing today. So today we're doing some strength testing here at the facility in San Jose Earthquakes and Quincy's gonna start out with a uh, barbell bench press, then we'll do barbell uh, back squat, then we'll go to a pull up for a timed, how many pull ups can he do in 30 seconds, and then he will do a hex bar deadlift. <laughs> no, you start off, it's like a warm up, you do 10 reps, right? And for you, like maybe 35 on each side. The next one, you add more weight, 
and you do eight. You do eight times. Take up another break. The next one, you add more weight, so closer to your max. Do it five times. And then the last one, you do. When did you guys do Add this? a bunch of weight. I told you we did it the day before Halloween, and I was did last scene, bro. This man couldn't walk. Dude, the way you do the format is. Bro, the, the, the thing is, this part's not bad. Like, this is okay. Feel, like, this thing is stupid. Bro, shit. Bro, your legs are the last scene after that. The whole point is to know where you're at. Thank you, sir. All right, results. This is the baseline for next year. All right, so got a good workout in. I actually got to record most of that, so. I know you guys know I do the weekly soccer giveaways, so I got, these finally just came in. I don't know if you see them. Copies of FIFA 18, so be on the lookout for that. I'm gonna do, so it's for PS4 and Xbox One. I'm gonna do some giveaways soon, so. There's that! Yo, what's going up, guys? Uh, bleep, 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 bleep. Yo, what's going on, guys? I'm out here shooting some stuff for some perfect soccer. We're doing um, a show every day of the week. So Monday is In Depth with Ross, Tuesday's Tactical Tuesdays. Wednesday, we're gonna do uh, what I wanna talk to you guys about right now, Ask a Soccer Pro show. Either me or Ross will compile questions that you guys have sent in, and once a week, we'll do a quick show answering your specific questions. Well, first, let me let you know what the prize is up for grabs this week. Oh, what is that, Quincy? Oh, is that a is that a brand new fresh copy of FIFA 18 for Xbox One? Why, yes, it is. Yes, it is. And that's what's up for grabs today. Now, in order for us to be able to start the show, we need some of your guys' questions. Yeah, so if you're asking a question in the comment section now, make sure to use the hashtag AskASoccerPro, or if you do a post on Instagram or you do a post on Twitter, use the hashtag AskASoccerPro. That way we can search it, we can pull those down, and then we'll, when we do the episode, We'll put, you know, like a screenshot in the corner of like the question that you asked and then answer the question. But it'll be great because we can create a resource and um, a way where everyone can get their questions answered. But other people who might not know to ask that question or might have not even thought to ask that question. I, mean, I think I just repeated myself with that. Um, they can hear those answers as well, too. So if you want to enter for your chance to win this brand new spanking new copy of FIFA 18, all I need you to do is either do a post on Instagram, ask your question, either post a photo of yourself with the question, maybe on the soccer field, or maybe shoot a video of yourself asking the question. Make sure you use the hashtag AskASoccerPro and the hashtag PerfectSoccer, or do the same on Twitter. Thanks for opening up all these emails and listen to me ramble and talk about all the stuff that I'm going and doing and all that stuff. I appreciate you, and there's gonna be more awesome stuff, giveaways and prizes coming up here. So make sure you stay on the email list and be on the lookout for that. So we're back home in Bakersfield. We're gonna go play in the weekly Nigerian league game. Uh, this is the first time Serena's <laughs> put on s soccer cleats. <laughs> She's never <laughs> worn soccer cleats before, so we'll see how she does today. <laughs> Shoot. I'm 
unless you're within about eight feet. Yeah, you have to be close. Uh, so you can't shoot from far. Uh, yeah, so you don't hurt him. He was, he was, uh, <laughs> it's not bad. <laughs> Pass it to me. There you go. Take a touch. Yeah. That's good. It's a step over. <laughs> Finally, starting to get back to, to normal. Yeah. How was your first day of soccer? <laughs> I think I did pretty good. I think I skipped over like the novice. I say I probably am like an 11 year old boy. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not yeah. Bad My skills at least. Maybe more like eight. Eight, eight year olds. <laughs> yeah, maybe eight year olds. It's not bad. It's good enough to come out. Yeah. <laughs> you guys came, you came an hour and a half later. After I already scored, you know? No, no, I'm just letting you know the truth. We already won. 1 0. See, I did my job today. I distracted you guys, and you didn't come and score. I did my job. Yeah. This is Serena. Hi. These are the finest humans watching this guy. Yeah. Yeah.